after Japan's reopening to tourists last month, what do we expect this July and next month? Guys, I know you're waiting for me to tell you that Japan is open to independent travelers, but please hear me out and watch this video till the end. Hello, Jeff Tinagan here. I'm sorry guys, I cannot make videos as frequent as before because I just started my Facebook gaming page. So if you want to check it out, please do so. Shameless plug. Actually, up to date, there is no news that these group tours are really happening in Japan. I even searched other vloggers covering this story, but yeah, probably no one came in that group tours or package tours, I think. <laughs> so maybe it's because of the summer heat. Coming here to Japan this summer isn't the best time to come. Maybe others would disagree, but in my home country in the Philippines, I would say that Japan's summer is hotter than Philippines summer. So I just compare both uh, summer time because in the Philippines, whole year round is hot, but in Japan is just hotter and it's more humid. Now, maybe my friends would relate to this, but yeah, please do not visit Japan during summer. Unless you want to go to Okinawa maybe or you want hot and humid environment but it also depends on the location by the way package tour and ERFS now what is ERFS you know that by this time if you want to come here using a package tour yeah if you want to beat the heat and maybe after summer you would need an ERFS as of this moment so I'll give you the summary of this ERFS one you need to locate a Japan travel agency and purchase a package trip and the agency will submit your ERFS application on your behalf and then a certificate for completion of registration will be issued now you'll receive the certificate through email from travel agency and bring or mail the certificate your passport etc and others to the Japanese embassy or consulate that is closest to you and five to seven days are required for this processing and your passport will be sent to you though some places may also let you pick it up in person then you can fly to Japan and enter the country. Now to enter Japan, you must have a negative PCR test within 72 hours after boarding your flight. So this is just a pre-departure PCR test, not like uh, before that we have a pre-departure and as soon as you arrive to the country, you also have another PCR test. Two websites that can lead you to group tours. Now I've seen comments from my previous video this one I'd like to answer this question like where can I find this group tours or package tours or anything that you want to call them anyway yeah so the first one is the official website of MOFA now as you can see there are a lot of emails and phone numbers and contact numbers of that because they are the official website now you can actually choose out there are a lot of agencies that are affiliated and are registered legally but I emailed just seven of them and one of them actually answered and I'll show it to you in a minute and the second one is you can find it from Japan guide I just found it while looking for answers and now it says that the operators offering guided tours for entering Japan under the current entry rules now this current entry rules are the same the MICR maybe let's have it like Mike maybe it's difficult to remember but there are three main rules if you want to enter Japan as of this moment we have Mike M for mask I for insurance and C for chaperone and I have answers from this email and I actually want to ask like is this really real or happening now he actually said that the English speaking guide will cost about 40 to 50 thousand yen per one day now just convert it I'm a math teacher but just convert it I don't have any time to convert it but 50,000 yen is probably around depends on the let's just google it later so out of seven he's the only one who answered me I won't name the other six but yeah just feel free to ask him if you wanna come here this year so the first question that I asked him was that what do they need to prepare and they have this brochure 
need to apply for visa the same thing that i said the erfs and you need a covid19 negative test result you need to install my sos app this is already covered on my previous videos and you need to have the to buy the travel insurance for whatever reasons maybe if you what ha whatever happens to you during the trip uh, the insurance could cover all the expenses and then I also ask um, because I have relatives and friends because I have relatives and friends that are interested to come to Japan but unfortunately I don't have the exact answers of those this group tour agencies that's why I email them and I want to know answers coming from these travel agencies themselves and so this is his answer so unfortunately not the guide is required strictly now depending on the itinerary it is it might be allowed to roam without guides when it comes to certain natural areas such as parks uh but you need to consult with the embassy and now majority of the countries are so strict so it also depends and third is travel insurance required well you also answer that yes strictly required <laughs> unfortunately but there are also some services here but they, they are not sure if it's covered with the covid treatment or not so make sure if you want to come here then make sure your insurance covers especially the covid treatment because it would be very expensive if something happens to you here if you want to check their their company or their agency i'll just link them down below and i really appreciate that they answered my queries they answered my questions by the way this is not sponsored or in any way i just want to help you guys and if you really want to come here please 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 make sure that your tickets are refundable your tickets can be easily <laughs> I hope your tickets can be rebooked yeah, easily because you know in Japan I don't know what's what's their plan yeah Kishida actually won the election already was finished but as of now there is one problem COVID-19 cases are again rising not only in Japan but in the whole world so that's why I my guess before was they are going to open maybe fall or autumn probably November December this is my guess but right now I'm already leaning towards next year so Japan may hold this one for a while so I'll just say maybe next year I'm so sorry guys but it was just my guess I wasn't expecting the the surge of cases again in Tokyo in Tokyo alone we have 11,511 COVID cases topping the 10,000 for the first time since March and just today as of this recording i shot this one as of july 13th july 13th tokyo has 16,878 new infections and that will be 94,493 new cases confirmed nationwide and this is the highest number ever in 13 prefectures so this is something that we could consider maybe the government will also consider if they would open the tourism to independent travelers right now they are doing the test tourism but i'm so sorry guys but i yeah it's just a wait and see game it's you know it is what it is here in japan so hold your horses guys now to all the travelers watching this i know you're wanting answers that could benefit your travel to japan but at this moment we cannot do anything but just wait yeah it's just it's such a pain because i remember uh i know people from japan can actually travel overseas without any restrictions like this but the reciprocal tourism isn't the same you know it's quite unfair that people from japan can travel to other other countries but other people from other countries can't come to japan which is quite annoying and i know g7 countries Japan is just the exemption and so uh, my message to everyone when you book your tickets make sure it's refundable and number two it can be easily rebooked without any extra fees or charges and maybe winter would be a nice thing but uh, the surge of cases of COVID is usually in December the same with last year because virus and uh, influenza they just come together and then ta -da, let's vault in and so my final message uh, i hope you are just doing fine i hope you're all okay 
if you still want to be updated about this current situation of traveling to Japan, please do hit the like button and subscribe if you want. Yeah, share this video to other people that might need it. This has been Jeffrey Kinagan and I'll see you in the next video. Mata ne. Goodbye. See you.